Well, welcome. Thank you. Hi, Annette. Thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me, David. Well, great. I hope you're enjoying our fireside oh, chat. It's always, I like warmth. <laughs> I like warmth. So today, for people that are joining us online, Annette Chen is a core specialist yes. and um, I guess also a pelvic floor specialist as well. Yes. So, um, so uh, for those who haven't met Annette before, this is from her profile picture. Um, so the, uh, the thing that uh, often overlooked when we think of muscles, when I think of muscles, I think of arms and legs Thanks. and strength and, yeah. uh, and sometimes even weight management. Um, and uh, so, but many people are suffering in, science, in silence because the pelvic floor is, it's not strong as it should be or could be. So, uh, you know, why is the pelvic floor, you know, so important? Well, the pelvic floor is a muscle that nobody really sees. So you don't, okay. you don't know, you know, and people take it for granted that, okay, you know, our, our, our bowel and our bladder and everything, as we age, you know, you hear, oh, you know, you're older, so we get, it depends, and, but it's not so. The pelvic floor actually holds the bladder, the uterus, all your, your you know, organs there. Okay. So if that muscle is not strengthened, that's when you get the incontinence issues. Okay, so it's a group of muscles group of that, muscles, yes. that affects uh, bladder and sexual functions yep. and stuff like that. So, so how do we know if we have an issue? Um, incontinence would be one. Okay. Low back pain would be one. Oh. Right. Um, pain during intercourse is one. So a lot of the normal um, symptoms that you get are are pretty much. I mean, there are other symptoms that could cause these issues, but right. you know, first and foremost, you go and say, okay, well, is your pelvic floor working properly? And a lot of people don't go there because they don't know that that is a muscle that needs to be strengthened now diastasis am i saying diastasis this? recti that's how you say it okay I, thank you for saving <laughs> me yeah. so how do you know if it, you have that so diastasis is a separation of your rectus abdominis muscles okay um you will usually uh get a little bulge right in your you know your your abdomen um most women have what's called a mummy tummy. So the below your belly button, you'll have like a little protrusion. Right. And um, so it's one of these. Yeah. So <laughs> it will it will kind of be like there's more severe ones, but mm -hmm. you know most times it's pretty much like that. Okay. Right. Um, and again, people think, okay, you know what? It's due to pregnancy. It's due to I can't lose the weight. It's not the weight. It's actually because these muscles during pregnancy mm -hmm. <coughs> stretch. Okay. 80% of the time, it doesn't come all the way back together. All right. So there's there's that little gap. So as women, we'll say, okay, you know what? We have our baby. We're going to go back into the gym. We get our clearance, our six-week clearance. We're right. going back into the gym. And we're going to do what? Crunches and planks. And, and it actually separates it more. Oh, okay. So yeah. there are different exercises that you should be doing then. Correct. You actually should be retraining your core first. Okay. And your core is made up of, of it's not just your six pack muscles. So your okay. core is made up of, of four parts. Okay. Right? So your diaphragm, your pelvic floor, your rectus abdominis muscles. Okay. And the multifidus, which is a muscle in your spine. Okay. So they all work together. Wow. Yeah. Okay, so you've got some tips and tricks to help people. Well, there these? are exercises, yeah, simple exercises to do prior okay. to retrain and, and strengthen from the inside out before you get back into the gym. Okay. Not saying you can't do, you know, regular exercises, but, you know, when we're talking about your tummy and after birth and you want to protect that, you go for that first and strengthen that muscle before you move on. Wow. Okay. Um, and so um, now it's not exclusive to women in childbirth. No, and, men also have it. Right. So, so how do we get to the point where our pelvic floor is not functioning properly? Childbirth is, is one of those things, but what would it be for men? 
oh, you, you could it could be weight gain. Okay. It could be weight gain. It could be lack of exercise. Well, the pelvic floor muscle is not exercised. You, so you have the guys in the gym, and they're working out their biceps and their triceps and their their glutes and and everything else. Again, that that muscle needs to be strengthened too. Okay. All right. So 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 how do we treat it? By exercise. Okay, that's very. It's, simple. it's very simple. Breathing. It's called diaphragmatic breathing. So okay. it's breathing through your diaphragm, right? Fair enough. Your diaphragm and your pelvic floor work synergistically. Okay. So they move together. That if sounds like music class for me, yeah. musicians. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So if, if, you know, when you're breathing correctly, you, these muscles will, will, you know, or the, the diaphragm pelvic floor move together. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Excellent. Okay. Um, now, we, we've heard of the term... Uh, Kegel exercises. Yes. Is that part of it, or is that is it part of it? That is part of okay. it because that is strengthening the muscle. That's that's a contraction, right? Okay. So with the breath, the diaphragm again, your pelvic floor is is getting that strengthening. Okay. Uh, now, are Kegels appropriate for everyone? Yes. Oh, okay. So that's a pretty safe. Kegels are uh, yeah, but if. I tell people you can do it forever and ever. Okay. Some people don't even know how to do it, right? You take it for granted that you go, oh, I know how to do it. But it's not a tightening of the butt or it's, it's a specific contraction in your, in your vagina area or for men in the genital area. Okay. Um, now, if we keep doing what we should be doing, mm -hmm. uh, will we ever be able to bring back the pelvic floor to where it really should be or are we always going to be like oh, no. below level no 100 percent, you can bring it back right okay now uh will we always need to work to maintain this well just like just like going to the gym you're gonna have to go to the gym to maintain your okay. bicep your tricep your because if those muscles aren't used not deflate but you know <laughs> Okay, so now we had some questions from our audience that were yeah. submitted beforehand. So one of them is, uh, when people book an appointment, is it an internal exam? No. Okay, it's not. Uh, is it a private exam was the second question. No. Oh. No, we could be done in the gym. We, we go through, because okay. what happens is, um, with the breathing, it, it affects your posture. So your posture, a lot of women... You know, as we, and men, okay. you know, we tend to do the slouching thing. Yes. So by breathing, we teach you how to sit properly and do all of that. So that could be done in the gym. It could be done in home. Wow. Now, does this have to happen fast? Um, fast in the sense of... Well, like, do you have to be like on it right away after childbirth? or You should be. Okay. Yeah. And it, oh. and it is possible to do it. Okay. It's, there's no harm. Um... I say at least wait six weeks to get into the gym after you've, you've gone through your six week um, checkup. Right. Then you get the clearance to go back into the gym. Okay. But then go back into the gym with the knowledge that you're not going to do your crunches and your planks and your. Okay. All right. Beautiful. You know? yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. So if uh, someone would like to consult with you, how do they reach you? They can reach me through Instagram okay. or through my Facebook. Okay. Yeah, just send me a message and we So I can, believe uh, this is you on Facebook? Yes, that's Ec me. Okay, beautiful. Yeah. All right, so they just message you just on... Just message me. We can connect through there and... Beautiful. Well, thank you for all that information. Thank you. I thank really you. appreciate it. And uh, hopefully you'll come back and share some more stuff yes. with us really yes. soon. Yes, I would. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you very thank much. Thank you.